In this video series, we are going to go over a workflow and some strategies for a preliminary wind farm project road network design using Road Eng. The original video film from start to finish took one of our engineers two hours. But we've broken it down into little videos with the key steps for you to follow along with. And in some cases, we have sped up sections of the video where steps are repeated, or where there was a longer calculation. In this project, we will create a digital terrain model, conduct an analysis of ideal routes for the road locations between turbines, design the roads and pads, and further optimize the earthworks for the project, reducing the cost significantly. The end result is a plan for the road locations, earthwork quantities, and road costs. Again, all of this was completed in just under two hours using Road Eng with Softree Optimal software. Here is a quick view of our end result. This project has six turbines, and we will end up designing 5.5 kilometers of roads to connect them. The video that you are watching right now is the high-level overview of the workflow. You can get more detail on each of the steps in the additional videos contained in this playlist. If you have any questions on the workflow or the software, you can contact us through our website, softtree.com, or leave a question in the comment section below. Here are the key steps we cover in the workflow. A typical road eng workflow begins by collecting your data and your files. This usually includes your original ground survey data and other spatial data. Next, we open the terrain module and import our spatial data. This project used 10 LiDAR tiles. Once imported, we generate a tin model to build our 3D terrain. Still in the terrain module, we use path exploration to quickly generate preliminary road alignments that meet our assigned design constraints while minimizing costs. This saves a tremendous amount of time and trial and error to establish what routes are worth advancing to the design phase. In another file, with our topo file as a background, we define our approximate pad geometry and positions. We will use these pads as reference features and optimize their earthworks alongside the roads. Next, we move to the location module and set up our road project. The location module is specialized for the design of linear infrastructure. We add our topo as a background and configure some of our view settings. Before creating our road alignments, we set the cross-section template to tie the pad edges and the road prism to pad features in the pad terrain file. Now, we can start creating our horizontal and vertical alignments. Using the Add Edit IP tool we click in our road alignment, following a preliminary location identified with Path Explorer. We keep dynamically adding intersection points to our road alignment, adjusting their position based on the visual feedback from the other windows. The next step in the project is adding more detail to the model. We assign additional project-specific templates to specific station ranges. We then add site prep and subsurface information along the alignment for costs and geotechnical parameters. After that, we are ready to add our horizontal curves. We can manually set the curves using the horizontal curve panel, or use the auto-generate curve function, saving further time in the preliminary project. Next, we optimize our vertical alignment. This adds curves and moves our vertical alignment to minimize our earthwork costs with the click of a few buttons. Vertical optimization finds the lowest cost alignment that satisfies our constraints and standards. Minimizing cut and fill costs, as well as the earthwork movement costs for constructing the alignment. We can review results, make a few changes to our criteria, control points or to the horizontal alignment and rerun the optimization. Vertical optimization typically reduces subgrade construction by 15 to 20%. Next, we can repeat the alignment creation and optimization process, making the surface from the first alignment visible, and merged into the original ground surface that is referenced by the next alignment. Last, we use the data window to get our earthwork quantities for each of our road alignments and can review the design time costing. Our preliminary road network for the wind farm project is complete. Thank you for checking out this quick overview and be sure to check out the full workflow for this wind farm project.